Um, here's uh, when the, when the, uh, Bacon's rebel, uh, rebellion is finally put down. There's this account which I showed you early in the session about Thomas Grantham, um, and um, Grantham's account again here: 400 English and Negroes in arms. You have European Americans and African Americans fighting together for freedom from bondage. You won't see that for the next 300 years. Pound, you, you know, arguments can be made. Come on. Um, supreme proof, Allen argues, that the white race did not exist. Um, they fought side by side for the abolition of slavery. Sean, come on. Counterfeit of so what happens in response is the ruling class turns to a counterfeit of social mobility. They're not going to promote these European American laborers out of their class, but they're going to sell them a different bill of goods, right? Instead of social mobility, European Americans were to be asked to be satisfied with the presumption of liberty, which is a birthright of everyone in England, right? You know, uh, and with the right of adult males who own sufficient property to vote for candidates for office. Sean. Virginia General Assembly deliberately stuffed the racial distinction with anomalous privileges, right? Uh, go on. Uh, revised the code. 1705, they granted guarantees to the European Christian servants. Now it, you finish your bond, your bond servitude, you're European, you get 10 bushels of corn, you get a gun. Go on, Sean. Um, 1705, Act Concerning Servants and Slaves in 1723. These are major laws. But they, they're not only passing these laws extending privileges to the European Americans and disabilities on the African Americans, but they're propagandizing it in the method of the day. This is pre-internet TV and everything. So it's put on every parish church and wall and sheriffs post them at the courthouse door. And pe it's drummed into the people. Come on, Sean. Propaganda, it was to be drummed into the minds of the people for the first time. No free African American was to dare lift a hand. African American freeholders were not allowed, no longer allowed to vote. It, they had been allowed to, right? Um, a, a reinforcement against the mating of English and ne Negroes, right? Provided in the 1723 law, um, any white person found in company with any illegally congregated slaves was to be fined um, or to receive lashes. Sean? Um, 1723 Act, and this is where we really get into the nature of racial oppression, to, it is aimed. They, an act directing the trial of slaves has got a long title, but this is where they take away the vote of African Americans. They formally take it away, and they explain, Governor William Gluch explained that it was, the, the law says no free Negro, no free Negro, mulatto or Indian shall have any vote at the election, and Governor William Gooch explains it is to f fix a perpetual brand upon free Negroes. Now you might ask, why free Negroes? Right, you know, here we go. So Allen emphasizes, surely that's not an unthinking decision, which is what Winthrop Jordan says, right? You know, racism. You know. Rather, it was a deliberate act by the plantation uh, bourgeoisie, Sean. In addition, that act of 1723, I'm going to come back to it in a second, uh, other aspects of it. It had laws against free African Americans, including making Negro women tithable, how to pay taxes for them, forbidding of non-Europeans, to be owners of Christians, denying free African Americans right to hold any office, um, excluding African Americans from the armed militia, that's the Lily White Slave Patrol, forbidding free African Americans from possessing any gun, powder, shot, or any club. Next, Sean.